So here's my 55 with assorted cichlids. Um, this guy needs to get out of there. He's huge, and he's uh, going to get a lot bigger too, so he's got to get out. But at the bottom of the screen here, you see the two uh, orange blossom hybrids. Uh, they were born in this tank. There's actually four and a possible tiny, tiny fry, so possibly five. And Mama is holding eggs again. Um, I need to get her out of here, um, but I don't have anywhere to put her right now. So um, once we're short, what I'm going to do is... Uh, this will be the, the breeding tank, I guess, um, and then I'm going to build a probably 500 to 1,000 gallon aquarium in my basement. Um, but uh, right now I have it with a Sun Sun 304B. That's my bike key. Hold on twos, buddy. Um, I use Seachem Prime uh, and a little bit of salt. Um, I got an eShops PF300 overflow. Um, it's all right. Like there's a little a little flaw in my opinion. Um, I'll explain that in just a second. But I have it overflowing, rigged until I get. Um, I'm actually going to get the uh, drain tube that is uh, flexible, and it's just going to go right to the right to the inlet because um, you know all these corners slow down your water flow. And I think my issue right now is I'm having a water flow issue. Like it's not <clears throat> flowing as much as it should. Um, and then like I have a power head in there right now returning it to the tank because when I use my J Bow Awesome Pump adjustable, um, it takes in too much of the water and then my water level drops to like right here. So <clears throat> I end up pulling like a tornado of water or air rather down into the pump and back into the tank so I was getting uh, micro bubbles <clears throat> and uh, not getting bubbles from that okay that's just a, f a few little air bubbles just to break the surface tension because I don't have a protein skimmer um, there's some mixed reviews on protein skimmer necessities for fresh water um, personally I'm thinking about trying one because if I don't have those air stones in there I get that protein skin on the top so I don't know like it's got to help somewhat right I mean I know that I know the whole salt you know salinity thing and magnetic so you know like it I, supposedly a, a protein skimmer is only designed for alkaline like for, no, sorry not alkaline um, salinated water um, salt molecules attract to salt da, 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 I get it um, but I just can't explain it <clears throat> because I'm dumb. Uh, but anyway, uh, this filter is fucking great. I love it. Um, Trigger Systems 30 crystal pump uh, sump, excuse me. Uh, 100 micron filter sock going through a bunch of CCAM. My refugium has just a single plant in it right now. Um, and uh, I'm next to a, a window, so I was going to try to not put a light on top of it. I'm probably already going to have algae issues over here. Unless I put, you know, some kind of cardboard or something, which is not a bad idea. Um, but, uh, so yeah, like, back to the issue of the eShops sump. And I'm going to stop talking so you can possibly hear what I'm talking about. But, so, issue with water flow, right? So, my water level should be about here. Like, about right here. Alright. But, I don't believe I'm getting enough water in for two reasons. One being all these angles of PVC and to be completely frank I don't know if this is level or or lower. If it's lower than that point obviously pushing water up and not down like it should be so I need to check that but like I said I'm gonna get that drainage tube and that'll that'll give me some faster gravity right down you know and quicker water flow theoretically um, but I digress back to the eShops overflow so this is how it's set up right now I'm gonna be quiet for a second and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push very lightly on the uh, the box itself right and you can hear a more intense water flow so listen now
you hear it now? And back to quiet, right? So, like as I'm pushing, it just lowers just ever so slightly, right? But it's lowering in a way where I believe it to be more level. And I'm having a leveling issue. So, and I've got this screw like all the way out because if you move it this way, it levels the box, right? Well, that's as far out as it goes. Um, and as you can see, it, I don't know if you can or not, but this is becoming more level, but this is not. So I don't know if that's an issue. Um, and I, maybe just poor design. I mean, I'm not really sure. This is my first overflow, so maybe I'm not doing something correctly. I don't really know. Um, but, you know, something like this, 75 bucks, man, it's just two boxes of plastic, you know what I'm saying? Or acrylic. And I, I mean, I've priced acrylic before. It ain't that expensive, you know? Um, I mean, it, it's expensive, and it is thick acrylic, I'd say a good quarter inch at, at least. Um, and it is quarter inch, actually. And then, um, you know, this is like a molded, or cast, I guess. Um, there's, no, there's no seam here, is my point, you know? There's a seam here, but this is one big piece. But anyway, I mean, it, it does work, and I'm hoping that um, once I get the new drain tube, I will get more water flow. I'm going to wait and do any adjustments until then. But right now the power head is working. Um, but it's a weak, weak water flow. And, you know, you know, the whole idea with something like this is to get some massive circulation, you know. And that J-Valve pump is great. <clears throat> Starts off, uh, it's got the slow start so you don't just blast your fish. And uh, the lowest setting is just fine for what I'm doing here. It doesn't need to be any faster than that. Um, I think if it were to be any faster than that, we would suck all the water out of the return. And uh, I'd have to have a, a second um, overflow or a larger overflow. Now this is the PF300, which is supposedly good for 75 gallons. Um, I feel like this is a 55 and I feel like it barely gets enough water flow. I mean, if it was bigger, I think the next step up would be the one that I should have tried. I mean, you know, if you advertise for 75 gallons though, it should, with minimal adjustments, work out of the box. You know what I mean? Like, this is a simple design, but like, all this extra rigging to get it correct is um, unnerving, in my opinion. Um, and I don't know how that is with all overflows. I mean, some people say overflows suck and you should have a drilled tank, but for those that can't drill their tank, like this is the wrong kind of glass to be drilling. So um, I'm not drilling it. Uh, now my next tank will most certainly have a drilled tank, so they're a lot easier to work with. I understand how to work those, and you know, basically a small inlet into the sump with a big inlet out. I get that back into the tank. Excuse me. Um, to handle all the overflow issues and stuff, but I, uh, I love the sump, man. The sump's awesome. I got a bag of purigen down there, a couple bags of charcoal, uh, and it. I mean, it, it is doing its thing, definitely. But it's doing it at a low flow because of that pump right there. So that water is very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with this sump in its entirety um, just gotta fix the uh, the flow issue so as of right now the sump is doing its thing even with the power head uh, it's a pretty decent power head I think it's a marine land I could be wrong uh, but it's like a 700 gallon per hour pump. so oh, sorry 700 gallons an hour I believe um, and uh, you know, it's doing its thing. It's just got to go up two and a half feet, so the it's just slow returning. But the fish seem great, um, other than him beating everybody up. Um, he's kind of a dick, and he's 
is in too small of an enclosure, so he'll be getting transferred to the big daddy tank once I get it built, but it's going to be a little while before I do that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Fish are doing well. I wanted to put the heater in the sump, but it is just too long. That's what she said. Um, so, I can't fit it in there, unfortunately. So I got, you know, almost everything removed except for the inlet and outlet of the uh, 304B. Now, I do know that you're supposed to have the inlet and outlet away from each other, but um, with having the sump on this side, um, it works like a, a surface skimmer. Um, and uh, that is pretty much mechanical filtration only. I don't think I even have any more media. I think I transferred most of the media into these bags. Uh, I have a dozen bags of Seachem, uh, Seachem Matrix. And, uh, you know, some people talk about it being expensive. I don't know. I mean, it was more expensive than a bag of pumice, but I couldn't find pumice in my area. So I just ordered it, you know, and I couldn't find any companies that are just right out selling bags of pumice either, you know? And people say, Seachem Matrix is pumice, and then Seachem says, oh no, it's something else, and I don't know. It looks like pumice. Pumice has the same properties if you wanted to uh, get some and use some, so I'm sure it's way less expensive. Um, but uh, there it is. Um, I will follow up once I get the, uh, the drain tube and go from there as as cool as a pipe dream as it looks, um, I think the the flex tube would be even better because then I could, I don't know, maybe turn this thing the other direction and actually be able to see everything instead of having to walk to the side of it. But for now, she's a working, doing its job. The filter socks are awesome, man. I don't. Some people don't like them. Some people even run their sumps without the filter socks. But I mean. Without that, what are you really filtering? You know, you're not filtering anything. You're really just cycling and doing maybe some biological filtration, which is which is good. You know, it is good, but it's not all you need. You need some mechanical before the biological, before the chemical. That's how it works. Otherwise, you're gonna have cloudy, crappy water, and my water is not that. What you're seeing floating around, I just fed him a little while ago, so there's probably a little remnants of, of food, but uh, in the next 20 minutes or so, that thing will be spotless again. Um, I need to do some major cleaning, though. I got some little pockets of algae that I can't get with my uh, little algae scrubber. Um, but uh, like I said, this tank uh, is doing really well. Um, it just needs a little cleaning. And uh, that's all she wrote, man. Thanks for watching.